What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about my Ram 3500. This is a 2006 Ram 3500 G56 5.9 Cummins for all the new viewers. If you haven't already, uh, this was my work truck, was my first work truck ever. Um, I actually bought this truck about two years ago. Then eventually I got a fourth gen uh, Cummins with a 6.7. But um, I want to go ahead and review this truck for you guys because this truck is actually one of my best trucks on the fleet, I think. It has literally never let me down. The worst problem that I've ever had with this truck is actually the clutch going out. And it did sit for about maybe six months after that happened. But either way, I just let it sit. I sent it to a shop, got it fixed, and now she's running up again. Um, it's been about maybe a year since she's been running again and she hasn't skipped a freaking beat. I do want to go ahead and give you guys a little co-start, but before we do that, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to hit that bell notification, guys, so you guys know exactly when I post. Let's get it, and let's get this video started. One thing with this truck is that it is a two-wheel drive. Um, honestly, for what I needed it, it was just for hauling, so it didn't really like uh, give me problems in that aspect. I really just use it for hauling, like I said. So I've hauled up to like 20,000 pounds this truck, and it's done it easily. I've taken it to the mountains in like uh, Asheville. Um, if you guys haven't watched the video of me hauling an RV up there, go ahead, go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna leave it somewhere in this video up here. Um, but yeah, so this truck has been used for hauling a lot. It has about 300,000 miles on it, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it hasn't really skipped a beat. That's what surprises me. But number one reason that I love this truck a whole bunch is because it does come with a G56 uh, six-speed transmission. So as you guys know, these Dodge Rams are actually crucial for transmissions. Like, their transmissions are literally dog shit. If you are gonna get a Ram, I would definitely, definitely, definitely go with an ASIN transmission or a G56 um, manual transmission because those are the only ones that are actually going to last you for a long time if you're going to be hauling heavy stuff, even using it on the daily. You know, if you're going to be abusing it or like maybe making some power with the motor, a lot of you guys want to make power with the with either a 6.7 Cummins or a 5.9 Cummins, you need the transmission to back it up. And the ones that are going to go ahead and last you are going to be the ASIN transmission and either G56. Apart from that, I actually prefer the 5.9 Cummins over the 6.7 um, just because it's just a simpler motor. I'm going to put it that way. Um, they are very, very similar motors just because mine is a 2006. I know in 07 they started putting the DEF system on all the trucks. So this truck did not come with a DEF system. I just think that's a plus for me on my side. As you guys know, I have the 4th gen with DEF. Um, I'm just trying to compare them both. So this truck from what i from my experiences honestly takes less fuel than my 6.7 cummins and on top of that doesn't have depth so you eliminate two expenses i guess you could say two expenses are eliminated there um where you don't have to spend money on depth and you spend less money on fuel 6.7 does have a little bit more power than the 5.9 i can tell you that this is a 24 valve both of my trucks are 24 valves i know they made the 5.9 cummins in a 12 valve um i think that was like the second gen i don't know i might be mistaken go ahead and leave it in the comment section below if you know the answer to that but yeah um that's my thought on the motor honestly i wouldn't trade my 5.9 cummins for anything else in here i wouldn't even want it to be a 6.7 honestly especially with this body style with it being a single cab i i really want it to be a 5.9 cummins with the g56 only other thing that i would change about this truck is i wish it was four wheel drive um but 
that's no, neither here than there. I haven't needed to use it. I live in North Carolina. Um, it barely, barely snows here. I think the last time it snowed here was like three years ago, two years ago. So, I don't know. That's the only reason that I would need to use four wheel drive. Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any idea what that sound is in the transmission, it sounds like a, like a sludge sound. I don't know if it's just low on transmission fluid. Honestly, since I've had the truck, I've never swapped out the transmission fluid. Um, I don't know if they dropped some transmission fluid when they were doing the clutch. I mean, the truck works fine. It just makes that super, super loud sound inside the inside the actual like cab of the, of the truck. And it's, it's annoying sometimes. It quiets down once it warms up though. She does need a little wash, but everything working out. I did walk. All this stuff is from the trees that have been falling, but when I did park this truck, it was washed. I just need to get a little cover for it because as you guys can see, a whole bunch of things like come up and then like from it sitting here, we got a lot of mud that was slung up, slung up. When it rains, all this stuff right here turns into mud. So for me moving the truck around and stuff is just like, you know. That's how you know it's been sitting for a while. Look at those spider webs. God. I did go ahead and replace the headlights uh, with some LED ones. I think these look fire. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but I feel like it just makes it look so much more aggressive. Um, and I still do have the stock ones. If you guys need them, Hit me in my DMs on Instagram. I would definitely go ahead and give you guys my stock headlights if you guys need them. Um, honestly, I don't even use them. But it's just a little rig, you know what I mean? I love this freaking little rig. It's so sweet. <laughs> All right, let's go for a little POV drive with you guys. Hopefully, I can make this happen with uh, one hand. Since it is a manual. Shut up. If I leave the lights on, it'll start beeping. But. She's good. Let me get out of here and uh, I'll pick you guys right back up. So on this truck, first gear is pretty much second gear because your, your first is low. And if you go into low, I'll show you what it does. All right, let's say you go into low. That's first gear. Look at how fast you climb up in RPMs. I'm already high in RPMs and I'm only going 10 miles an hour and then I have to kick it into second. So honestly, I always just come out on second gear. Use it as my first. I always use low gear if I'm just hauling heavy weight. Let's do a little POV drive here. made it to the diesel pump I feel like every video we go ahead and put diesel in either this truck or the fourth gen but it's a must so we let's do it go ahead and fill up let's get it look at this truck guys it's a little dirty you can see all the pollen I haven't drove it since the pollen jeez Needs a little wash. It looks good though. I really love this truck, guys. Like, it actually is my favorite truck out of both of the trucks that I own. Um, it's just so much fun to drive because it's a manual. The 5.9 sounds amazing. And it's just cute. Look how small it is. <laughs> it's like a baby dude.
I came to Smoothie King to get acai bowl. Just ate it up. Now, we're gonna head back home and let's get it. We're still in the old baby dooley. Woo! She sounds spicy. All right, guys, so we actually went ahead and made it back home, as you guys can see. Dewey's parked right where we picked her up at, at first. Um, this is actually where I'm in today's video. I know it wasn't too much. It was just more of like an informative video. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.